News 8 reported last night on a man who lost his mother in a traffic accident there by Waters Edge Apartments. After that aired, Monroe County Legislator Paul Dondorfer released a statement asking the Department of Transportation to conduct a traffic safety study on that roadway. Well, Christian Garzone joins us live now from Penfield with more. Christian. Yeah, Teresa, even uh, Ben and I pulling out a K2 Brewing today. It's a couple of Hail Marys, and you hope for the best as you turn onto the roadway. All of this is on top of another report we did on nearly 800 accidents in five years right here on Empire Boulevard in Penfield, those numbers coming from the Monroe County Sheriff's Office. Now, Legislator Don Dover specifically wants to see a traffic light right around here at the bottom of the hill. Uh, the same thing the man from our story last night wants to see. He lost his mother near here a few years ago in an accident. The idea is that a traffic light will allow traffic from the apartments, the restaurants, and the marina to turn safely onto the roadway, all while giving a stop here at the bottom of the hill that will hopefully prevent traffic from racing by. As we heard last night, it feels like taking a turn out of here. You take your life into your own hands. As folks can tell you, drivers go right through here, usually speeding. No one's doing 45 through here, I can tell you that right now. Don Dorfer said many residents have reached out to him regarding the high amount of of accidents on this roadway. Here he is reacting to the nearly 800 accidents in five years in Empire. That number is atrocious, uh, and it's something that I think the state should have been looking at a long time before now. Yeah. Um, you know, we always say that when somebody loses their life, it's it's too late already. Um, but the fact that there's been multiple fatalities there, I think it's time for the state to, to really kind of reevaluate and get a traffic control device there. Now, Don Dover's hoping more elected officials in Penfield get behind the idea of a traffic light right here at the bottom of the hill. Live in Penfield, Christian Garzone, News 8. Adam, Teresa, right back to you. All right, Christian, thank you. The Department of Transportation did say in a statement yesterday they do want to have another look at this roadway, although it was light on details.